Hi, welcome back to Whole Lot They Love. It's Mark Jackson. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a cappuccino using the Rancilio Silvia. My, I uh, had already pressed my steam button and my light is off, so I'm all set to go ahead and steam milk. And of course, I'm going to walk through all the steps that I normally do. When we make the cappuccino, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to steam our milk first. And then what I'm going to show you to do is how to cool down your boiler so that you can go ahead and make a shot of espresso. And what it does, it kind of cuts down the time between brewing and steaming. We'll show you how to do that in just a second. So of course, to steam my milk, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to purge my steam wand a little bit. A little bit of hot water and steam will come out. Okay, now I'm all set to steam. Now when we make cappuccino milk, what we really want to focus in on is we want to ensure that we create foam. Uh, in our last video, what we did is we created latte milk, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go show you how to create more foam in the steaming picture. It's just a little bit different technique. So I've got my pitcher of milk. Of course, my milk is cold. My pitcher is cold. I'm going to position it so, and I'm going to turn on my steam on all the way. And what I want to do is the milk is going to increase in volume, and what I want to do is I want to kind of slowly lower my pitcher to compensate for the milk increasing in volume at the same time concentrating so I don't generate big bubbles. I want to create microfoam for my cappuccino. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start. I'm going to turn it on all the way. And what I want to do is I just want to get to spin the pitcher like I did before. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly lower my pitcher. Okay, now I've made my cappuccino milk, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and wipe down my steam wand. Thank you for the help behind me there. So I got my steam wand wiped down. Now I'm going to show you the trick, which I think is really important with this machine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn off my hot water, my steam button actually. I'm going to hit the hot water button, turn on the steam wand, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and purge water. Okay, so what I've done is basically I activated the hot water button. That, of course, turns the pump on. The pump forces water into the boiler, then out the steam line. What that does, it forces the steam that's in your boiler to be pushed out, putting the boil more cool water into the boiler so I can go ahead and brew my shot. This really cuts down the time. And of course, like any good cook, what you want to do is try to get everything done about the same time. And this is going to be a quicker way to get down and get to brew temperature. So what I've done is I've loaded my portafilter. I got it all set to go. I got my 14 grams of coffee all tamped and ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and lock that into my brew group. I got my espresso cup up here nice and warm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and brew my shot. Of course, our goal again is to brew about two to two and a half ounces in about 25 second time. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my brew button. Now my shot's all done, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to put together the cappuccino the correct way. My shot's ready to go. I got my nice warm cup up here. I got my spoon, or you can use a spatula, and I got my pitcher of milk. So I'm going to take my cup down, which is nice and warm. I got my nice shot of espresso here. I'm going to dump that in. Now one thing about a cappuccino, what you actually want to do is you'd like to have a third, a third, and a third. And what I mean by that is you want to have approximately a third of espresso, and then you want one-third steam milk and one-third foam milk. The purpose of the spoon, which I'll show you here in just a second, is I want to hold back that foam that I worked so hard to create. So I'm going to go ahead and pour in my steam milk. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put my foam on top like this. As you can see, I've created some really nice microfoam. 
and there you go. And you can see by the layers, remember in our latte, it was all steamed milk, a little bit of foam on top. Here we've got espresso, then we got our steamed milk, and we got our foam milk on top. So we've created a beautiful cappuccino using the Rancilio Silvia. Thanks again for watching me making a cappuccino on the Silvia. Uh, we hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.